another day had passed. Another long day of work, another day on the ground. I went back into my truck, started the engine, shifted the gear to reverse, and then drove off. Really, the large uh, low pressure system was beginning to make its way toward the area. I was going to be able to beat it by about 10 to 15 minutes once I got home. Finally, I made it home. Ah. I sighed to myself. I yawned a breath of relief after a long, stressful day of work. I shook my head. I slouched my on top of my back and spun my head around, exercising and stretching my neck several times over. Ugh, I said to myself. Then I made my way to my special leather chair. I debated what I was going to make for dinner and began to read. hear the thunder booming in the distance as the wind began to slowly pick up. It definitely smelled like rain when I made my way out of my truck and into my house. And sure enough, I began to see lightning flicker in my windows. It had already began to get dark, and nightfall was beginning to set in. I went to the mud blinds and my windows and closed them properly. I went to the kitchen. Got some spaghetti. Put some hot water in the bowl and fired up the stove. Began to cook myself some spaghetti. I went back to my chair. Looked up a nice book and began to read. For several minutes the thunder continued to boom. Gradually getting louder and louder. Boom after boom after boom. A sudden whip crack, sharp, close. I nearly jumped out of my skin. Lightning. Storm's definitely getting close, I thought to myself. Closer and closer we got. Closer and closer to me. Closer and closer. The thunder continued to boom. Bombs, whiplashes, cracks, gunshots. Those were the sounds that came to mind as I now allowed assault on my auditory senses. Continued. Then the rain. The rain began to pour. Consistently, constantly. On and on and on. It was a torrential downpour. Something that was rare for this time of year. Specifically in the springtime. Usually, Summers when you have torrential downpours like this, but never in the spring like this, almost. It's rhyming. The 
water begin to fall over and over and over again. The wind picked up, gusting, howling. Another boom of thunder. Another crack of lightning. I continued on reading my book, enjoying myself. I began to hear more booms far off in the distance. Which was odd considering the storm was right over me and over my area and most of the lightning strikes have been fairly close for the last several minutes. The sequence of booms consisted in cadence and rhythm. Almost a even cadence to them. Deep, solid booms. And they were progressively getting louder and louder and louder and louder. I paused my reading. eyes begin to raise from the pages. What is that? I thought to myself. I, I could feel the, the ground underneath me beginning to vibrate with the sounds, the boom. as if something was coming towards me, walking towards me. It was getting louder and more intense. There was every, every, every sound. It felt like my not only the floor was shaking, but now the walls and the ceiling of my house were shaking. Everything was shaking. It was just... I didn't know what to make of it. What, what is that? Constant boom, boom. Until suddenly it stopped. cut the tension in the air with a knife. I swallowed deep as I sat there frozen in my chair. Almost dreading when I would find it. What is it? What is that? What is that? It seemed impossible. I didn't know what to make of it or what to do or what to think, what to feel, what to say. How do you even... A deep, low rumble. I swallow again, I gulp again. The deep blue rumble. Curly olive oil. And 
the background of the torrential downpour of rain and the booming thunder and lightning. A deep low growl. I stay motionless and quiet. Listening. Trying to make sure that I heard what I heard and I wasn't just... Just hearing things. Growl rumbles again. the situation and planning its point of attack or its next strike. I, I, I just sat there, motionless, quiet, not there to make a move or, or a sound. Then a hair raising roar. Explosive. Deafening. I jump out of my seat and back into it. Shock to the system. My, my heart nearly beat out of my chest. I was so, so shocked by the explosiveness of the sound and the sheer volume of it. It's like someone had a chorus of a hundred lines and they just went off all at once at me. Explosive roar. Shortly followed by another deep rumbling growl. scratching sound against my ceiling, against my roof. I can see. Against one of my blinds was street, street lamp lighting from the street. But I could see a silhouette of this, these giant knife shaped things. The
Jesus, they were teeth. Immense teeth. Maybe over a foot long, maybe bigger. Maybe 15 inches long, each of them. It was, they were atop teeth, they were... Saw the giant jaw move. Fractions of it, that there was no telling how big this thing was. It was, I was just seeing that the, the, at the end of the mouth, whatever it was, it was the outlines of the teeth were just enormous, impossibly large. Nothing in the fossil record or on even remotely close has teeth like this. So the bottom teeth were almost two feet long. Jesus, what is this thing? Hear another rumble. Another growl. Another scratch. That's my roof. Another sequence of sleep by the giant nostrils. brain continues to pull up outside. I dare not move on it. My gun safe is in my room, but I fear if I get up and move this thing will either hear me or sniff me or sniff me out or something. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. The spaghetti begins to boil in the kitchen. I hear the creaks against the ground. I move to my other, the other side of my house. I hear the sniffing get closer and closer to the kitchen where the spaghetti is being cooked. Several sniffs. Then movement goes back to its original spot. Not really sniffing anything of interest. Then another ground. Deafening roar blasts out again as my roof caves in. I'm surrounded by a by a grotesque chorus of teeth. I lunge away as the gigantic jaws. insane. The thing pinpointed exactly where it was even though I didn't move or make a sound. The giant jaws closed but I just managed to move right before they had the opportunity to engulf me completely. I crawl on, on my floor to my kitchen. Rip of the sound of a rip as gigantic claws tear apart my the interior of my house. 
another deafening roar. Jesus, I scream. I go to my bedroom. I get the 12 gauge. Grab the 12 gauge and load it with the slugs. That's, it's the most powerful thing I have. I know it's not going to stop this thing or kill this thing, but maybe I can deter it somehow. Or I wait. With the shotgun fully loaded, I slowly begin to glance into the main quarter of my house. Nothing. Just the sound of green water gently entering the opening of the a giant yellow eye is fixated on me looking directly at me through the opening of the roof a giant eye with a giant pupil Another deep growl. I'm frozen in fear. I. You don't even hear about things about the, like this in your nightmares or in movies. This is just. <sighs> the eye stares. Blankly, it squints, focusing on me. I raised the shotgun and I fired, hoping to enter whatever it was or to drive it off. I knew it was a long shot with, with this little, this 12 gauge, with this, considering the size of this, whatever it was. took the shot. And suddenly the eye was gone. The eye was gone. The... Interestingly enough, the rain had dissipated as well. I cocked my head sideways and back again. I looked through the opening and there was nothing there. Very slowly I worked my way towards my front door. I opened it and there was... There was nothing there. No footprints, no indentations. In the ground, nothing. A few of my neighbors began to come outside. All of them discussing and asking themselves what the hell was going on. If they had heard the sounds earlier. Everyone was asking each other what it was, but nobody saw what it was. Everyone except for me. The rain had let up completely and the storm had run its course and was moving away. As things calmed down, everyone went back inside. A couple of people called the police and asked them to come. Along, along with a uh, game wardens, but once everyone went inside, 
from a distance I could see. These two yellow, yellow lights. Got a pair of binoculars and raise them. And sure enough, they were a pair of yellow eyes glaring directly at me. What appeared to be several hundred yards away, maybe even half a mile away. They were more than a hundred feet off the ground. I was that thing seeing me from that distance. Through my binoculars, I could see the eyes. Squint, showing an angry, hateful, defiant expression. And slowly, they diminished and disappeared into the cold, dark rain, forever concealed by the darkness of the night.